Hi, welcome to Crunch Video. I'm Terry Wall, and this is Washboard Ads. This is the crew. I've designed a three-step progressive approach to strengthening, defining, and toning the midsection that's not just going to give you visible results, but functional results as well. Isn't that awesome? These guys take my class all the time, and they know. I mean, look at them. <laughs> four more here in four, three, two. Now, let's start by placing the feet hip-width apart. Pull your navel in. Drop the tailbone toward the floor. Press the shoulder blades back and down. Take one hand. Put it on your navel. Now, pull the ribs down. Breathe out and breathe in. Let your arms float forward. Just give it a little float. There you go. Give me two more here. Now, next thing I want to do is take a rib circle to the right. Here we go. Excellent. Now, give me two more. One more time. Now, close the ribs forward. I'm going to call it closing and opening to give you a visual. Try to think of it as a door. Take it to the left with that circle. How you doing, Charmaine? You all right? She's circling. <laughs> now, bring it center. Close the ribs. Give me four. Now, start to bring your arms around as you do this. One more time, circle to the right. Now, if you want to, let your shoulders get into it a little. This is my favorite part. <laughs> you guys know, contract. Here we go, bring it in. Exact. <laughs> here we go, circle over to the left. Four here, three. Now, if you want to let your legs get into it a little bit, that's fine. Don't let me stop you, contract forward. Here we go, two more like this. One more time. Now hold it center. I want to involve the rest of the body now. I can't help it, you know. I got to let it all go. <laughs> Let's take the arms up. Here we go. Bring them up. Now I want you to reach out. Reach out. Think of reaching out and grabbing what's yours. <laughs> Give me four more here. Four. And three. We're going to add on a step touch to this. I want to take the arms down for that. Here we go. Step touch. All right, now I want to add the contraction to that, that closing of the ribs we talked about. Are you ready? Here we go. Excellent. Give me two more here. One more. Now take the feet apart. Here we go. Add that arm. Excellent. There we go. Give me four more. Now con contract and close that upper body. There we go. Good. Two more. One more. Now let's move this forward with the arm motion. Excellent. There we go. Now contract and move it back. There you go. Come on, come on, move it up. You want to make this as big as your living room allows. <laughs> now one more set like this. Reach. I want you to reach. Come on now, contract, move back. Excellent. Now hold this here, hold this here. Now I want to add some lateral motion. Get ready. <laughs> one. Two, now step together here. There you go. One, two, step together. Let's add the upper body. There you go. Now reach around, circle that arm. Yes. There you go. I know. She loves this one. She, she does this when we're not even filming. <laughs> there you go. Now I want to do two more steps like this. Excellent. This is your last one here. Now you're gonna hold it over to the right with an overhead lunge and pull. There you go, pull that navel in. Relax the shoulder. Four more. You guys ready to add on something else? I knew they were. <laughs> Get ready. Now I want you to take that arm around, swoop it around, swoop. Now open, close, and down. Swoop. Here we go, let's put that together. Bring it out, open, contract, and down. Here we go. Excellent. Try and make this motion as big as possible. One more time. Here we go. Hold it right here. Hold it here. Push up. I want to add that rocking motion back. Now give me four, three, two. Tap three times. Three, two, one. Here we go. Add those arms. One, two, three. Excellent. One, two, three. Now give me one more set. We're gonna hold it over to the left. Give me the overhead lunge. Over and down. Excellent. Support that thigh. Give me four more. Four. Last three. Come on, you guys. Two. Remember what's next? Pull it across, pull it across, pull it across. Open, contract. There we go. Pull it across. 
Open. Excellent. Two more here. Pull it across. Open. One more. Get ready. Let's put this together. Here we go. Take this over. Out. In. Excellent. You're transferring the weight from foot to foot. Two more like this. Come on, you guys. Hang in there. Wait till we get to the rest of it. Hold it here. Hold it here. Now I want to go from side to side without those taps. Are you ready? In four, three, two. Here we go. Step together. There you go. Step. Make sure you're keeping the hips under the shoulders. Now lift the knee. Pull it in. Excellent. Your abdominals are stabilizing and controlling your body right now. Give me four more. Four. I know. They work even while you're standing up, right? One more time. Hold it here. And bring it down. How you guys doing? You all right? Yeah. Okay, now hold it center. And release. Roll up. And release. Excellent. Roll up. Two more like this. Good. Come on, come on. And down. Now hold this halfway right here. Take the shoulder over. Ah, now switch sides. Lengthen that spine. And bring it center. Roll it down. Roll it up. Now let's breathe it in. All right, you're going to need a mat for the next segment, a water bottle, and the determination to get what? Washboard abs. All right, we're ready for the first of our three progressive washboard abdominal segments. Each segment is designed to build upon the previous ones. So the first segment will either reinforce what you may already know or teach you the basics that you'll need to complete the entire program. It's also an important thing to remember that no matter how long you've trained, it never hurts to practice and refine your basic technique. Right, you guys? Okay. Now I'd like to get started by putting the hands behind the thighs. As we roll back, we're going to walk our feet to a comfortable distance up to the buttocks. You ready? Here we go. Roll it back. Now as you come back, bring your heels back. Now bring your upper body all the way down to the floor. Now we're going to go right back to the warm-up where we just worked on pulling the navel towards the floor. I want one hand on top of the navel. You guys ready? Now just pull that navel down. Now as you pull down, breathe out as you do this. This is just like the natural action of breathing. We're gonna do four more here. Three, last two, one more time. Now let's take the shoulders off the floor. Now remember how we closed the rib cage before? This is the same application here. Now what I'd like you to do is place your hands on the floor. We're just gonna slide them forward and back. I want you to go up in two counts and back in two counts. You guys, take it up. How you doing back there? And down. Here we go. Breathe out on the way up. Breathe out. Good. And come down. Two more. You guys are right back there. One more and two counts. Now let's do this in single counts. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out and breathe in. Now make sure you're maintaining pressure of the heels into the floor. This activates the hamstrings. We're going to do two more here. One more. Now hold this in the up position. You want to always make sure that your rib plate cage is closed. This is where we're going to start from. Now we're going to take the hands behind the head. Your, your head is cradled gently within your hands. You should feel no strain in the neck. Now what I'd like you to do is you're going to go up in three counts and come down on one. Here we go. Take it up, two, three, down on one. How you doing, Faith? You all right? Here we go. Let's go up. Two, three, and down. Up, two, three. Now we've got four more of these, so try to stay tight with that, that back down to the floor. There we go. Oh yeah, come on, give me two more here. One, two, three, and down on four. This is your last rep here. Now hold this center. The next exercise we're gonna do is gonna involve some rotation. I want to see you take your elbow across the body, then we'll bring it back to the center, and we'll try it to the other side. You guys ready? Here you go. Take it side and back and center and back. Side and back and center. 
and that. Now make sure you're breathing out on the hard parts. The hard parts are the up parts. <laughs> Side and back and center and back. Now this rotational movement is going to help you stabilize your the lower half of your body whenever the upper torso is moving. Good. We've got now four more of these. How you guys doing back there? Here we go. Excellent. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. We've got three more. Good. Breathe out. Breathe in. Lift. Good, good, good. Two more. This is your last time. Now hold this up. Hold it to the center. Just contract for a moment. Feel what it's like. Now take this all the way back down. Let's set up for our last basic exercise, the reverse curl. Pull one leg in, now the other. Line up the hip and the knees. Keep your feet close to your buttocks. Now let's lift the buttocks off the floor by pulling the navel down. Here we go. Lift up and release down. Lift up and release down. Here we go, bring it up and down. Excellent, we're gonna do two more of these. Now one more. Now place your hands behind your thighs. Now just with a little pressure from your leg, roll it up, place your feet on the floor. Here we go, now let's stretch the back, hold this here. Now lift your chest. Now in the next segment, we're gonna build on what we've just learned and then you're really on your way to getting the washboard abs, right you guys? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you made it to section two. Good for you. The next thing we're gonna do is build on what we've just learned. So it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Everybody knows that getting washboard abs is no easy task. You can ask them. And don't worry, I'm gonna work them as hard as I'm working you. What I'd like you to do now, hands behind the thighs. Again with that, you're gonna roll back. As you roll back, start to extend one leg out. Keep the knee soft, keep the heel on the floor. Let's take this all the way down. Make sure that your lower back is touching the floor. Now what we're gonna do here is again set ourselves up by pressing the rib cage down. How you guys doing with that? Press that rib cage down, pull the navel down, your shoulders are up. Let's bring the hands behind the head. Now what I want you to think of doing is pulling the navel toward the spine. We're gonna try that in four counts. Here we go, let's take it up. Bring it out and in. Here we go, breathe out, out and back. Let's take that a little quicker now. Breathe out and breathe in. Now make sure you keep that knee relaxed. That extended leg is relaxing into the floor. There's no weight pulling toward your body. What I'd like you to do is now, if you're pulling with your navel in the correct fashion, you should feel that knee start to lift just a little bit. It's very subtle. This work is very subtle. Now we're gonna do two more here. One more. Now I'd like to, you to hold it in the up position now the next exercise is gonna build on that. We're gonna lift up and slide the leg in and then release it and slide the leg out. Are you guys ready to go? Yeah. Here we go. Lift it up, let that leg slide in and push it right back out. That heel slides against the floor and then gently goes right back out. Yeah, now you wanna think of your abdominals moving your leg. There should be no tension in that quadricep. You guys feel any tension there? Say no. <laughs> We're gonna do three more. There we go. Let's do two more of these. Excellent. Now one more. Now hold it here, keep that knee up. Now just switch the weight to the opposite foot. Extend the other leg all the way out. Keep that knee soft. Let's try that first exercise. Here we go. Press the navel down. Excellent. Breathe out and breathe in. Now you should be feeling that thigh start to lift up just a little bit. How you guys doing? You feel that leg move? Excellent. Your leg should feel like it's almost floating. Give me four more. I know this is harder than it looks. <laughs> Last two. One more time. Now let's take that leg sliding in and out. Breathe out and breathe in. There we go. Breathe out and breathe in. Breathe out 
and breathe in. Good, there should be no tension in the neck. Let's do four more. Four, release, there you go. Come on you guys, how you doing? I know, they, they hate it when I make them work. One more time, one more time. Excellent, now hold both feet on the floor, release this all the way down. Now we're gonna make this even more challenging, but I know you can do it. You guys ready? All right, let's take one leg up, now take the other leg up. Let's straighten the legs gently if you can. Try to keep your knee in line with your hip. Now if your legs don't straighten all the way, just let them bend a little bit. Now we're gonna set the upper body by bringing the hands to the top of the head. Now press the rib cage down. Let's stabilize that upper body. Line up that elbow and your shoulder. Now just pull that front leg down and release. Now as you pull that knee down, I wanna see you tilt your pelvis upward just a little. Pull the navel down and pull the knee along with it. Breathe out and pull that navel down. Now what you're doing here is stabilizing with your upper body while the lower body's in motion. Excellent. Now if you wanna make this just a little bit harder, which I know you probably do, you can add the upper body to that. That's if you want to, you don't have to. You can always work up to this. And you should always take your time when you're working from level to level. Let's do two more here. Two more, just two more of these. You guys ready? One more, this is the last one. Here we go, now hold this here, hold this here. Hands behind your thighs, release it back. Okay, let's walk the feet out. We're gonna go on to the next exercise. We're gonna walk the feet as far away from the body as you can while keeping the lower back down. The pelvis is going to tilt up. Let's cross one leg over the other. You should feel a nice turnout without any strain. Let's place the hands behind the head, connect the rib cage. Now let's breathe out and in. As you do this, you should feel your upper back stretch along with a nice open feeling along the pelvis. Breathe out and breathe in. How are you guys doing with this one? Now, you can always keep one hand on your navel just to make sure you're maintaining the correct connection. Give me five more. One more, one more, one more. Good, now hold this here. Release this back. Pull both knees in. Both knees come in. Hold this here. Now we're gonna get ready for the next segment. It's gonna be a little bit more challenging, but that's all right. I know there's gonna be more, but you can do it. Just make sure that you're able to complete this section first. Okay, you've made it to section three, and if you want those washboard abs, you can't stop now. So what I want you to do is pull one leg in, now pull the other leg in, cross your ankles, drop your heels up against your buttocks. Now, think of this, pulling your navel down, lift that pelvis off the floor. Now that pelvis is gonna stay there for the next couple of repetitions. Okay, I want you to bring your hands behind your head. Now we're gonna go just on one side, on a diagonal from the shoulder to the knee. Are you guys ready to try this? Okay, let's take it over and back. Now what you're doing here is incorporating all the other information that we've learned from the other two sections. Now I'd like you to do four more. Four and three. Come on, hang in there. Two, one more. Now release this back. Let's set it up for the other side. Now if you want to, you can always take one hand and put it on the floor. Let's lift the pelvis off the floor. Lift those shoulders up. Here we go, cross it over. Over and back. Over and back. Now remember, you're leading with the shoulder. Excellent. You don't want to reach with the elbow. Now let's do four more. Last three, hang in there, come on, come on. Two, one more time. And excellent, release back, release back. Now take both legs, straighten them up. Now let's take the leg that's underneath. Lock that toe right up against the ankle. Now what you want to do is let your legs turn out naturally from the hips, try to keep them soft. Now, pr again, pressing down with the rib cage, lift your shoulders up, hands go behind the head. Now, pull the navel down and release. 
There you go. Now, whenever you're doing any type of abdominal exercise, you don't want to worry too much about how high your shoulders are going. That's not what the whole focus is. You always want to think about how deep your navel is going. I'm going to do eight more. How you guys feel? They get quiet when it gets difficult. We're going to do four more. Last three. Come on, you guys. How many more? Two. One more. Good. Release down. Now quickly, just adjust to the other side. Lock that toe back. Here we go. Pull it up. Now remember, this should be a natural turnout. There should be no strain in your legs. They should almost feel weightless here. Four more. I said almost. Three. Keep it going. Here we go. Here we go. Now I want eight more. Just because I know you can do it. And you know, I don't think you'd respect me unless we went for this. Here we go. I want four more. Last three. Keep it going. Two. One more time. One more. Good. Now release all the way back. Pull those knees in. Now I really want to show you guys my favorite exercise. You want to see it? All right. Let's roll this up. Now I need you to just watch me first. There's a little bit of explanation that has to go along with this. So you guys just take a look, okay? Now what you're going to do, set your elbows down. Now I want you to line up your elbow with your shoulder. You're gonna pull your navel up and under, lengthen your spine, bring your knees and your ankles and your feet together. Now watch this, this is really cool. You're gonna pull your navel in and just lift your whole body up one inch off the floor and set it back down. Now what we want to do is watch for the common mistake. The common mistake is to push off the legs. And you'll know if you do that if it feels too easy. Because you know I'm not going to give you something that's too easy, right? Okay. So let's try that. I want you guys to give it a shot. Now the lineup comes from the elbow to the shoulder, okay? You're going to remember to close that rib cage, pull your navel up, Bring your knees together, ankles, and your feet. Now lock the toes onto the floor. Now let's try this nice and slow. Pull your navel up. Now hold this here. Good. Now release that back down. Okay, now did that feel too easy? Okay, that means they did it right. Let's try this. Here we go. Pull the navel up. Pull it up. And touch just to the floor a second. Up. There you go. Now just let those knees touch gently. Good, and down. Now try to relax your neck. Try to relax your neck, and down, good. Pull the navel up. Now you're also stabilizing this exercise with your shoulders and your back. How you guys doing back there? Here you go. Let's do two more like this. Excellent. One more time, one more. Good, now bring the knees all the way down. Now let's stretch back. Now that you have the idea, I want to try another set. This time we're going to go just a little quicker. You guys ready? Okay, let's set this back up. Line up those elbows and the shoulders. Pull the navel in. Make sure your ankles and knees are together. You guys ready? I think they are. Here we go. Pull the navel in. Now lift. Good. And touch. Lift and touch. Lift. There we go. You're pulling that navel up. How do you feel? How do you feel? Now I know they're a little quiet. That's because they're really working. They're really working. Come on, you guys. Come on, come on, come on. I want eight more. Breathe. Keep breathing. Sometimes the toughest part is just breathing. Four more. Let's go. Four. And three. Last two. Come on, one more. Ah, yes. Bring the knees down and release back. Now, you've learned everything in the other two sections. You just completed this one. The only thing left is to cool down. By now, you should have those washboard abs. Okay, now after all that hard work, it's time for a cool down. You guys ready? Okay, now what I want you to do is pull your navel down, now lift your head, bring your head up towards your knees. Whenever you do this stretch, you wanna make sure you're supporting by pulling, putting your hands behind the thighs. Hold this here. Now release this back slowly. There you go. Now let's just take that left leg, extend it all the way out. 
Now think of letting that leg just drop away from the hip. Make sure the back is still maintaining contact with the floor. Now I want you to take your right leg, cross it over your body, open up both arms. Just let the weight of your leg help you in the stretch from the ribs all the way down to the top of the hip. How's that feel, guys? Yeah. Now pull your navel in. Now start to roll that leg back toward the center. Put your right heel on the floor. Now just bring the left knee in. Excellent. Now extend that right leg out. Take that hand, place it under your thigh. Now let's take the left leg across the body. Here we go. Open up the arms. Now take your head, look away from that leg that's crossing over. That's going to help you get the most out of this stretch. Remember, you're pulling your navel in. You don't want to strain too hard for this. This should feel good. Excellent. Now let's rotate that back to the center. You're going to put your left heel on the floor. Now let's draw the right leg in, bring it all the way in. Hand behind the thigh, bring the other leg up. Now let's roll it up. And let's face the front. Cross your ankles. Now we're always concentrating on pulling that navel in. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take a deep breath in. And blow it out. Excellent. Breathe in. Blow it out. One more time. Breathe in. Blow it out. Now let's take one hand. Place it on the floor. Take the other arm up. Now lift away from the hip. Keep your weight in that cheek that's on the floor. Stretch away from the rib cage. There we go. Reach out. Bring it over. Put the other hand on the floor. Reach over. Now make sure you're pressing down with that shoulder. There you go. You're reaching away from the hip. Excellent. Now take it up. Let's contract forward. Hold this here. Stretch out the upper back. Now this was a very intense workout. You've done a great job. Don't ever give up. The harder you work out, the better chance you'll have at those washboard abs.